For this video, we're going to load configuration files onto DGI Go. Now, what this will allow you to do is to basically open up some additional functions such as always on FCC mode, 32 channels, or boost mode. Uh, please note, 32 channel can only be used on its own. Now, this works for both Android and iOS. iOS, uh, through iTunes, Android, you need to copy the file over to a folder. You can download the file from dgi.retroroms.info, the credit to Kazoki and whoever made the actual config files. Your major steps to success is to download the file, rename it to .dgi.configs, close DGI Go on your tablet, and then copy the file to the tablet, and you're good to go. Now we're going to get into the major steps to download and then rename the file first. <clears throat> so go ahead and open up a web browser and go to dgi.retroroms.info. The link will be in the comments of this video. Go down to step number seven for the FCC iOS hack. This has got a lot of really great info, so read the whole article. Once you've done that, go ahead and come down here to the file section, locate the right config file that you want. Select that one, hover over it, right click, and choose save link as. And go ahead and save that file somewhere convenient on your desktop in a folder somewhere where you can find it. Go ahead and minimize or close Chrome. Uh, before we do, just note one of these steps is going to tell you specifically the file name. It's .dgi.configs. If you want, go ahead and select and copy that now. And then go ahead and locate that downloaded file and then rename it. We're going to rename it to .dji.configs. If you don't rename it correctly here, it's not going to work. So that's why I recommend copying and pasting from the instructions on the dgi.retroroms.info page. Go ahead and choose yes to rename it. Go ahead and minimize this. So now we're going to go into the steps on iOS or iTunes to copy over. So go ahead and open up your uh, your iTunes with your device connected, or open it up and then connect your device, your iPhone, your iPad. You see on the top there, uh, it connected. I'll go ahead and click on the device. On the left there, go ahead and click Apps. Over on the right side, go ahead and uh, scroll down on this window until you get down to the area that says File Sharing. Go ahead and pick the, um, the app there, DJI Go 4, and click on it. It'll take a second and it'll load some information on the right there. Basically, we're going to take that configuration file and then drag it over here. Uh, alternatively, uh, you can use that button down there to the right that says Add File. If you click Add File, you can navigate to that .dji.configs file and select it. Please note that once you copy it over, you can't delete it, um, but there are tools to allow you to see the file, and um, you can always copy a, a stock file back over if you want. So go ahead and hit sync, and then close, and you're done. Nothing else to do for that. These next steps are for Android. We're going to do this on the PC. I'm going to assume you've already downloaded the file. So go ahead and open up the folder that has the file in it, the dgi.configs, and then go ahead and open up your Android device on your PC. Go ahead and uh, navigate to the internal storage. Open up the Android folder. Open up the data folder. And then someone here should be dgi.pilot.4 or dgi go4. Open that up. Open up files. And then go ahead and copy the file over, the .dgi.configs file, to this folder. Once you're done, you're going to close this window and done and you can go fly. Now here's the process on the device itself. You don't have to do it from a computer, you can download it on the device. So if you're on your device, open up Chrome or whatever your web browser is and go to dgi.retroroms.info. Go ahead and click on option number seven there, the FCC iOS hack. Go ahead and scroll down again to that list of files. Again, you should absolutely read everything in here before you proceed so you know what you're getting into. Be very, very careful with anything uh, that, that you do in here. You take full responsibility for it, especially with boost mode. So go ahead and select that file that you want. It'll download it. Go back to your, uh, your desktop or the front page there. Open up your file manager. Go ahead and uh, navigate to your internal storage. And then open up your download folder. Now once we get in the download folder, we're going to Press and select that dgi.configs force FCC folder file there, and then we're going to click those three dots up on the right, and we're going to pick rename. 
we're going to go ahead and delete the name that's in here. And again, we're going to rename it to .dji.configs. And that's DJI capitalized dot configs. You need to make sure that there's a period uh, at the very beginning. If you miss that, again, it won't work. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and uh, push and hold again. And then we're going to click those three dots up on the top right. And we're going to pick copy to. It's going to go ahead and open this up where we can copy to. Pick the internal storage in the middle there. Uh, open up Android. Open up data. And then go ahead and, uh, if you need to, navigate to the bottom down here to dgi.go.4. Go ahead and open up the files folder. And go ahead and click OK. In this case, I already had the file in there, so I'm just going to replace it. And then we're good to go. For the next section, we're going to go into OSX. So uh, in order to do that, we got to do a small change at the command line of the terminal to show some hidden files. And then we'll download, rename, and copy that file over. So open up Safari, and we're going to go to dji.retroroms.info. That's dji.retroroms.info. And then uh, go ahead and click on number 7 down there, the FCC iOS mod. Uh, we're going to scroll down here and we're basically going to copy and paste the two commands we need to run from the terminal. So go ahead and scroll down to the apply the config section. You'll see here a little uh, line of code that starts with default, right? Go ahead and uh, uh, select that, copy it, then go ahead and open up a terminal window. Right click paste, go ahead and execute that command. Go back over to Safari, copy the second command, kill all finder. Uh, now what this is doing is basically allowing us to see um, the dot config file or, or hidden files on OSX. So uh, once you've done that, go ahead and scroll down, find the file you want to download. Again, please read everything on this screen before you really get into this. You want to understand what you're doing. Uh, but once you're at this point, go ahead and pick the file you want, uh, click on it, uh, download the file as into documents or downloads, wherever you can find it. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and open up Finder. Go ahead and open up the location that you downloaded it to. In this case, I put it in the Documents folder. I go ahead and select it. And then we're going to bring up the uh, menu and choose Rename. Go ahead and delete the name that's there and rename it to .dji.configs. Remember the period at the very beginning. Click OK. That change we made at the terminal allowed us to basically overwrite the, the file name and see that file. So go ahead and uh, close this. You can go ahead and close all of that stuff. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go in and uh, open up iTunes and connect our device. So go ahead and clear up your windows there if you want. Uh, open up iTunes. At this point, go ahead and uh, plug in your iPhone, your iPad as well. Get that thing synced up and connecting. Once it's done, go ahead and click on the icon for your uh, for your device there. And go ahead and click Apps. On the far right for the slider bar, go ahead and slide all the way down uh, to the area where it says File Sharing. Locate the app where it says DJI Go 4 and go ahead and select that. On the right, you should see some, some files and folders over there. Uh, what we want to do is we want to take that DJI configs file and basically drag it over there. Uh, you drag it over there and it'll, it'll copy it. If you have one there already, it'll ask if you want to replace it. Um, and so that's it. Go ahead and hit sync and you're good to go. You've copied the config file over. Uh, so be safe with whatever you're doing. Uh, you can close these down, unmount your, your iPod, uh, and then go ahead and go fly. Have fun, guys. Take care.